Hey everyone, and welcome back to We Talk Cricket. It is good to have you here with us on the channel again. Thank you so much for your support and for always thinking about us and coming back to watch the content. We are so, so happy and appreciative of everything that you do for us. So thank you. Now I know you saw the title. I know you're thinking, wait, what, Sim? Hmm, warm-up matches? Bonus? Yes. So, in preparation for the Cricket World Cup qualifiers, which is about to happen this weekend, we have been having a lot of warm-up matches, and we'll have some more even tomorrow. So, just wanted to keep you in the know, just wanted to tell you this is what's been going on so far. We know a couple of these sides have played each other in the, recently in the past, West Indies versus UAE, where West Indies won the series 3-0. But, you know, ICC standard is you still have to have warm-up matches. So we're just going to cover a little bit of that today, talk about the scores and what happened, and basically, I'll tell you the bonus. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's jump into it. So, we had five matches being played yesterday. Five, with five more to go. Total of ten warm-up matches for this Cricket World Cup qualifier. And so, definitely I was looking forward to seeing, like, hey, who would come on the top? Would we get any surprises? Technically speaking, not really. Everything basically went according as planned for right now. But hey, this could just be motivation for an epic build-up in the tournament. You never know. It's cricket. It's unpredictable. You never know. So, let's jump into it real quick. Starting off with the first match of the day, we obviously have West Indies taking on Scotland. Surprisingly, West Indies were bowled out for 274. Scotland, in response, could only muster 173. So, a good yes for West Indies. A good, but a bad no for me. Not a good one because honestly speaking, this is this is a, a smaller nation. It's kind of been playing for a little bit, but come on, you should at least bat out, you know, get through those overs and make more than 300 runs. Just saying. We also have next Zimbabwe versus Oman. Zimbabwe dominated, <laughs> making 367. Now the surprise is going to come later. Oman made 339. So. Not much of a victory for Zimbabwe. Yes, still a victory, but at the same time, I'm like, you cut it real close right there. Like, real close. I was expecting more of like a peel away, like a 100-run victory. But these smaller nations are showing us just what they can do, just what they can bring to the international scene. I think we're going to be in for a lot of surprises once the tournament starts on the 18th. The next match we had was the Netherlands versus Sri Lanka. No surprise there. Sri Lanka, Netherlands made 214 all out. Sri Lanka just cruised to victory, making 215 for 7 off of 37 overs. So Sri Lanka definitely means business coming into this. And I, you can tell, like, they're like, yeah, we shouldn't be here. We should be up with the big dogs. But, no, well, you're not. Welcome to the small dogs table. <laughs> but, anyway, anyway. but still, really good, I think, getting in preparation, getting things going. The next couple of matches we had was the United States versus Ireland. Ireland came on top, beating the United States by five wickets. The United States didn't make 312 runs, but bowling, bowling, bowling lacked on the U.S. side. On both sides, actually, if they were able to make a 600 plus runs between themselves, you know what I'm saying? Um, Ireland did chase that down, made 315. So, definitely Ireland, they do have some solid compactness. So, any team, especially for West Indies, Sri Lanka, I would be careful. And any team is torn, be careful, because Ireland definitely, they want it. They're, they're hungering for it. Last but not least, we had Nepal versus UAE, with UAE coming out on top. I already told you, UAE did do well along the USA in the Cricket World Cup pre-qualifiers to get to this qualifier. I know I'm off, right? But did beat Nepal. So I, I saw a lot of comments from people like, oh, Nepal can trash USA and all this stuff. But guess what? There's still, still a lot to go on. There's still a lot to happen. So hold on to your seats. Nepal did make 275, and UAE chased that down, making 276 for 7. So, just, you had a lot of cricket being played, and you saw for a fact, sorry about the noise, by the way, you saw for a fact that these teams have come to win. All these teams that are trying, they've come to win. So, hopefully, we can see some good stuff coming out now. We do have the next set of warm matches start tomorrow, like I said, so we'll see how that goes. Now, for the bonus, we have a one-off test between Bangladesh and Afghanistan going on right now. Now, I know some of you don't like, wait, what? Really? With Cricket World Cup only a couple months away? Yes, you still gotta play cricket. The Ashes are starting real soon, so cricket has still gotta be played. So, 
Here's my bonus round because this was a surprise of day one. Bangladesh. Bangladesh. 362 for five. I was expecting them to at least be 200, but 362? Oh, they, they've been playing some attacking cricket with none other than Natchmo Shanto leading the way, making 146. I know, right? Surprises! And being supported by Mamadou Hassan Joy making 76. So we are seeing Bangladesh stepping up in the Test Cricket Arena trying to take on. Now I know it's the same thing with Afghanistan and Ireland. They're still new to the Test Cricket Arena. They still have a lot of experience to gather and gain. But hey, I gotta give kudos to, ba to Bangladesh for like legit taking the attack of the Afghani Afghanistan bowler, sorry. So that is the bonus for right now. No real bowling stats to talk about right now. The weeks are basically being shared. So going into day two, I expect some things to happen. Now I'm not gonna say this is gonna be a three-day test match because I feel Afghanistan will come out with some real good batting. Now I could be wrong, obviously, but we've seen them play. So lots to be expected. For now, it is what it is. You just gotta keep going. For me, I was really impressed, like I said, seeing the Bangladeshi batters come out and just bat so aggressively. So lots, lots going on right now. So there's your bonus for the day. Hey. Just want to give a big shout out again to Twilla. Remember, this video isn't sponsored, but they're still pushing us to say, hey, you guys can still make great content, you guys can still do great stuff. So I would just want to say a big thank you to them. And also, if you still need a great pillow, hey, use the promo code up here. It is still ongoing. You'll get a 15% discount. But besides that, hey, thank you so very much for coming back. And come back again tomorrow so we can do what? Talk Cricket. I'll catch you later.